Guys, we're back in Quincy Cottage and beside me is a brand new 200 amp service. We had Brian Shaw from Powerhouse come in, remove the electrical from the side of the home so we could get our rock wool strapping and eventually our siding on the, uh, on the exterior of the home. But we also took the opportunity to upgrade the service to 200 amps. Why are we doing that? Well, number one, appliances, things like the uh, future uh, air source heat pumps, all of that's going to require a bigger service. And since we're replacing the service, it's a small upcharge to go from what was existing, which was 100 amps to 200 amps. But that's all for inside. Why don't we go outside and we'll talk about what we got going on out there. Speaking of outside, we mentioned this last time, but this window actually just came in and we'll be installing it here. Uh, so just as a reminder, we're actually gonna be using this whole area as our backsplash. So what we have is two panes of glass, which will fit in between our upper cabinets and our countertop. Uh, really intentional and will pull in a lot more natural light through this kitchen, uh, which was otherwise a pretty dark corner here. Now, a question that actually came up was about these windows and the height of them. They are slightly low compared to what would be considered quote unquote normal, but when you're on the outside, these scale actually really well. If we had lifted them up, it would have been slightly awkward looking on the outside. Uh, so what we did is, yes, we've installed some new headers uh, with, within the wall cavity, but we wanted to leave the windows essentially where it was. Uh, and, and again, it's largely due to the scale on the outside, but even on the inside, if you turn around and look into where the dining area is, yes, we could have pushed that up, but what it does is kind of gives you this more cozy, again, cottage feel. Now, I also want to point out the roof. So the roof is old, the roof is old, board sheathing, and when we had stripped the shingles off, we were considering, all right, do we replace the, the sheathing? A lot of times what, how we determine that is if the sheathing is not really fastened well. Well, come to find out the sheathing was fastened actually really well. Uh, there's a few patches that we had to make, but otherwise we were in good shape, so we didn't have to take that time to strip that sheathing. However, we did want to make sure that we had a really waterproof layer, so we actually installed a Grace Ice and Water Shield across the entire roof prior to installing our asphalt shingles, which is now done. So why don't we go outside and we'll talk about that. Because what we've been working on is not only getting the exterior insulation, but also the strapping on the outside of the house. So what we have is one inch rockwell on top of our GCP Vicor, uh, and then a one by three strapping. So the strapping is installed vertically because we're gonna have horizontal siding. If you can envision clapboard siding being installed, now your clapboard would, would space in between either of those pieces of strapping and have nailing capability. Now, one of the, the key details when you're installing strapping on top of this, because everyone always asks, well, doesn't that stuff compress? In the middle of a panel, your compression is very, very light, but when you do get to a seam, you're gonna compress a little bit more because it's on the edge of that panel. Um, one of the things that we will do is we'll actually install our first piece on either end and take a string line, and then when we're installing the field pieces, using that string line as a gauge, making sure that we're not over compressing that. But at the same time, we wanna make sure all our screw heads are you know, uh, countersunk, so when you come by with our siding, we're not having a, a screw that protrudes into the back of that siding. So some of the other things I wanna talk about are the windows uh, as well as the roof. So in the windows, what we had to do is we actually have strapping all the way around it so the, the siding can terminate into it uh, as well as the bottom because you wanna make sure you have plenty of nailing for the, the siding. Since these windows were installed on an existing home against the sheathing with a traditional nailing flange, uh, we actually came by and installed this one by on the vertical and tied it into the existing trim on the window. Now these windows came in with trim built onto it, but that trim was going to be too far set back. So we built these boxes to basically protrude out and allow the siding to die into the side of it. Uh, all said and done, it gives it this kind of stepped look, uh, but was a cost effective way to utilize a you know, off the shelf window unit uh, in a way that allowed us to install that additional exterior insulation, which was a key detail that we wanted on this home. Now, some of the exterior trim has been started. We're using a PVC product, but it will be filled in as we go through siding on this home. So on the roof, we decided to use a Grace Ice and Water Shield, uh, and that goes across the entire surface. And you know, we wanted to make sure that we got a completely weather-tight, watertight roof. 
prior to installing our asphalt shingles, but we also have these three skylights. Now I want to call attention to those skylights because that was a, a really important part. You know, this front room here is going to be essentially where the living space is, where everyone's going to be spending all this time. We increased the two windows on the front to, to capture the beautiful view, but now we're capturing additional sunlight on top. So one of the things with, you know, the smaller home and the smaller windows in these st this style cottage is that oftentimes they felt really dark. So bringing in a lot more natural light was a, a really key element. And as you look above the, the front of this house, you actually have that new roof peak, uh, which still needs trim, but that is where the new uh, primary bathroom will be. So we talked about that in the last episode, how we're gonna sneak a bathroom upstairs, making that second bedroom. And that is exactly what you're seeing. And we've actually wrapped up and on the vertical of that with the Grace Ice and Water Shield uh, prior to us installing our, our rock wool comfort board and then eventually our siding. So where we're at right now is we have basically got all of the demo complete. We've got the exterior prepped, wrapped up. The roof is completely done and watertight. Uh, and now we're gonna be going into siding and then eventually uh, that phase two will be the interior. So if you guys like this series, make sure you leave a comment below. Um, I'm stoked to be working and helping Doug get this, this home done for him and his family. Uh, but make sure you drop a comment below, let us know what you like uh, and if you wanna see anything else. Thanks guys.